Hi folks. I had the standard steppers with Tormach and while they work and they're very functional, I found their limitations, especially when one of the drivers started dying on me. It didn't do me any favors because it kept running. It not only kept running, but because one axis didn't move, it destroyed tools and the, uh, the, the work in the vise. So, I was looking for other options and plenty of notes, lots of data sheets later, lots of data sheets, more notes, more receipts, and using Tormac's own information that they provide, I've managed to run a set of hybrid stepper motors. It's a pretty easy integration but it's not something that's just a plug and play. And because of that, I want to offer this to other people, but there's work involved and I'd rather offer it as a kit, simplify getting this stuff, especially stateside because the steppers and drivers do come from China. So there's always that sourcing issue. And, uh, and anyway, um, I think I've worked it out. I've uh, tried a couple of different brands of the hybrid steppers and I've settled on one that works well in this application and I've not had a fault yet, which is great. I've managed to trigger a fault. I have it set to alarm out. And when it alarms out, it, uh, it, it ties into the uh, limit switch for that axis. So it gives you a limit error as if the axis had hit a limit switch. But that's the easiest way to integrate it without having to add a lot of extra peripheral. So it's actually a pretty plug and play kit. Uh, it's just bolting up steppers, running uh, some wires, pulling some old wires. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's, once you get it running to your cabinet box, it's uh, as simple as plugging in the uh, proper access to the proper drive and, and off you go to the races. I did uh, work up another uh, Pathpilot interface so that you can run it faster because these steppers do allow you to move faster. They have more torque than the stock uh, Tormach steppers and uh, you might as well benefit from that. It's, uh, the, the torque curve does drop off the faster they go but you get some good rapids. I've gotten 360 inches a minute in, in rapid and uh, I've tested it. Uh, I've pushed it up to 200 inches a minute cutting and there's probably some refinement that can be done to that recipe, but, uh, but, but you can definitely make use of it in uh, your cutting setups also. So uh, that, that's pretty much it. This is a PCNC 770 uh, Series 3. These will integrate to the Series 2. They'll also work on your M's, the, the 770M and the 1100 m So that's an option if you didn't want to go with the Tormach option for the M's of stepping up to the servos. But realistically, I, I'd say step up to the servos because that, you know, that, that's awesome in itself. They're a little more money, but uh, the kits I'm offering, they'll, uh, you, you'll get some good bang for your buck out of these. And uh, plus, I, you know, I'm happy to support these. Uh, like I said, I, I've uh, redone the uh, profiles on Pathpilot so that you can make use of that extra speed. And, and I'll keep tweaking that if you need something special made because you're cutting steel and don't need that, uh, that fast of a movement. Uh, we, yeah, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to help you out with that. And with all that said, let me show you what we've got on here right now. Um, this is still set up, you know, I'm still prototyping here. But uh, I've got cable sourced, I've got uh, fixtures for the, the uh, electrical box source so that things aren't loose and uh, it, everything's all nice and tidy. This will all run through your conduit, you can pull all the old stuff out and uh, I'll have a video detailing all of that installation and destillation of the old stuff available for you once, uh, once these ship out. Alright, so let's take a closer look. This is the x-axis motor in place. Please note that this is a larger motor than will ship with the kits. The ones that will come with the kits will be inside of here. This is one I uh, received 
for testing out the electrical side of this and uh, yes I do have some cables just haphazardly laying in here and again that was for testing purposes these will come all contained and pre-wired this is the z-axis and please note that it has a brake on it and is integrated into the brake circuit and here we have the y-axis hybrid stepper and this particular one is also longer so please note it will come a bit shorter and should be a Approximately, actually a little bit shorter than the stock Tormach is what those work out to from the uh, spec sheets. And the reason for the longer steppers was simply because that's what was available quickly. And I was trying out the various brands, but the ones that will ship are a uh, higher torque than the original Tormachs. So you get the added benefit of having higher torque, more speed, and of course the uh, reliability of the uh, feedback going to the electrical cabinet. And what's inside the electrical cabinet? These breakout boards will come with a mount. All of this will happily run through your cable co conduits. These will be replaced once we get uh, get the appropriate fittings and everything in, that'll allow you to run it through the conduit, come out here. These are all the old ones, so please disregard those. It does reuse the Tormach stock power lines. And if uh, the, the key now will notice that there's technically three different types of drivers in there. One is the standard stepper for the uh, A-axis. Uh, X, Y, and Z are different brands. Just testing out the reliability on these things because uh, I don't want to ship anything that's going to be more trouble than uh, it's worth. Because ultimately, the reason I did all this was because I was having reliability issues. And I wanted the machine to just work. But at least this way, it will feed back in and give us a fault. If it does miss a step, it's gonna let us know and shut down the machine and stop it from running. So we don't break tools. Even if you break a tool, there's a good chance you're not gonna destroy your workpiece in the process. And if you have a tool changer, it also means that you won't break subsequent tools. So all things to keep in mind and consider um, ultimately if you uh, decide to go with this system. Now that you've seen the electronics, let me show you what it can do mechanically, show you some actual rapids and movements, uh, as well I'll, I'll show you the screen, that way you actually can see the numbers. Anyway guys, there you go, proofs in the pudding. Uh, check out my Instagram, YouTube, 
Jody Oliver, I'm, I'm easy enough to find. Also, my website's going to have these in the future, so if you miss the Kickstarter, that's no problem. Also, I have plans for the slant lathe. Yep, yep, sure do. I've got plans uh, to integrate the same system into those so we can uh, take advantage of all the benefits, especially since Tormach don't want to upgrade it themselves. There you go, guys. Thanks for following along. Please support me.